Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips and in today's video I have something very very special for you. We are going to be checking out some new technology in the cadaver market, something called a Sindaver. You might have heard of it if you watch Shark Tank like me, I think it was a season or two ago, this, uh, this doctor and company was on Shark Tank. Greetings organic humans, Kevin. <laughs> My name is Dr. Christopher Sackeles. I am the founder and CEO of Sendever Labs, and I'm seeking $3 million in exchange for 10% of my company. To propose their, their product called the Sendever, and it's like this awesome synthetic cadaver. Sendever Labs designs and builds the world's most sophisticated synthetic human tissues and body parts. Made from salt, water, and fiber, just like you and I, our products employ materials that mimic the properties of human tissue. And sure enough, the local tech school here uh, at CSN actually bought one and they have one and they asked me if I wanted to come by and check it out. So I'm going to be taking you over to the school and we are going to check out this really cool, awesome synthetic cadaver. Stay tuned. Sindaver Labs designs and builds the world's most sophisticated synthetic human tissues and body parts. Their synthetic human bleeds, breathes, and employs hundreds of replaceable muscles, bones, organs, veins, and arteries, all made from materials that mimic the mechanical, thermal, and physiochemical properties of live tissue. This technology is used to replace live animals, cadavers, and even human patients in medical device studies, clinical training, and surgical simulation. An actual heart, which pumps heated synthetic blood, it actually pulses the blood away from the heart and drainage toward the heart, like it does in real life. You can actually intubate and ventilate the body as well. So I have personally gotten to touch this Sindaver and it feels real. It smells funny, but it feels real and it's very, very cool. Um, I read online, I read on their website what types of surgical procedures they could do. Do you remember what types of I know you guys, these guys are not going to be actually performing surgery on the Sindaver, uh, but do you remember what types of Yeah, they, they set it up. I mean, it's legit anatomy, yeah. so colon resection, appendectomy, gallbladder. Um, you can access the heart and the lungs. Yeah. Um, they're specifically designed so you can use like energy devices and staplers on them too. I read so, that. So I mean, devices and stuff like uh, that. I mean, I mean, if you look at, it, you could do a total me on this. Yeah. If you wanted to, you know. Yeah. I mean, I can't. Maybe some. Um, maybe the vascular stuff you wouldn't want to do. Just well, I wouldn't because we'll ruin the flow. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, the abdominal aorta, just getting down and accessing, putting retractors on, like real skin yeah well not real but and even laparoscopic cases mm -hmm. so you can, you can insulate, insulate it too the yeah. Abdomen. yeah yeah pretty cool so what do you think the biggest benefit of having this over like an actual human cadaver would be there's so much paperwork with the human cadaver yeah. like if we want to if this was a human cadaver and we wanted to move it from this room across the hall you have to fill out paperwork and it's a person you know? yeah so you're respectful of yeah it, and i get that but it's just a big hassle if we wanted to switch to another building, if we wanted to use it for a different class. But this, it's not a person, so you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah. You know, we can move it to another room. We can, you know, it's, there's and transporting. You know what I mean? If we uh, needed to move it elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. This huge box that it stays in. And yeah. It's easy to easy to package up and yeah. move somewhere else. And it's I don't know. It's not a person. And it's, yeah. and it's permanent. I mean, yeah. he, human cadaver only lasts so long. Yeah. This, this, um, I think I want to say the rep said they have some out there that are like 10 years, as long as you take care of them. Really? Yeah. And they'll, wow. you know, they'll break down a little bit, but yeah, as long as you take care of it properly, yeah, it's going to last way longer than yeah. a human. Yeah. How do you foresee uh, using this, this Sindaver for your classes? 
for in, in the CSC what, program. What do you, how do you think it would help us learn? So uh, I was talking to Chris the first time I saw this thing that I feel like when we go over uh, procedures and anatomy, it that has to deal with those procedures, seeing it in like a real, like real, uh, what do you say, uh, form, is would help a lot. Because sometimes when you look at the book, there's not all that like tissue that you see. It's just there's the organ. There's yeah. how you it's color coded. Yeah, yeah. It's color coded. Yeah. Yeah, and this you'll get to see how it looks like, and uh, it'll be less uh, of a shock when you get to the OR. You can't really, you don't really know what anything is because it all exactly. looks the same. Yeah, absolutely. I think the weight of it too, yeah. like moving the joint, is not super easy. Just like it's not going to be on a person. So yeah. we're moving, transporting, or er, from the bed to uh, to the OR table, yeah. all those things. Anything that's more realistic is better. Yeah. So that's, that's it. This technology I think is absolutely amazing and I can't wait, this, I can't wait to see this, this thing used at, you know, at this capacity in schools you know, probably across the world that, that are us, utilizing a Sindaver like this. So cool stuff, really cool stuff.